Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel, and today I have a few things for you, and I just want to go over some things with you. It's Saturday. I do love your feedback, so I wrote down myself some texts and some things that I wanted to go over, um, and just to see what you guys think about these topics. There's so many reefing channels out there on YouTube. I'm sure you guys have your following, and you know who you like to listen to, so I kind of want to listen to you guys and get back some of your tips that you've seen on other channels, something that you don't know about, something that hasn't been overkilled and you're just bored with that topic already. So let me just tell you some things I wrote down and then you tell me what you think about it. Um, one of the videos I wanted to do on the topics is no filter socks except when and knowing when to use filter socks. Um, you know a lot of people don't want to use them but they do come in handy during certain situations. So I want to talk about that. Um, surging flow is better. Um, there's different types of water systems. I've always been a fan of closed loop systems. You get a little bit stronger jets of current um, and you don't have to put equipment in your tank. Also you've seen the trash cans above some of the stores. Equipment, if you've been to many uh, fish stores you've probably seen this, where they'll dump the water in a large sum. So it fills up and then it dumps out and that basically cleans the corals. A lot of times if you have a long tank or you don't get enough power across. Your propellers, your impellers, you think they're pushing. Um, but current just dies down. So when you force water to move at that velocity or that volume, it's gotta push the other water out of the way. So it's just an interesting step. So that's something I'm gonna talk about. And let's see what else I wrote down. Water quality isn't your problem. Uh, a lot of people are so obsessed with water quality and they always want this equipment, this equipment for water quality. And I'm just wanting to tell you is that like, your water may be fine and you need to just chill in your water, except for when you're breaking period, I mean, it does take time for your, your tanks to cycle. So that part, water quality is important, but I'm talking about established reefs, where people aren't having proper success with your corals. And a lot of that is due to your aquarium isn't set up for the corals you're trying to keep, and your lighting's off, your flow's off, something about your tank is off. So there's that, um, and then diagnosing a bad tank and fixing your problem corals. So diagnosing a bad tank, would have to do with things like not strong enough lighting, not good enough flow, um, not proper filtration, there's no biological filtration going on there. So there's different things there, balancing your system. Your, so those of you who are interested in any of these topics, um, you want me to like go through your tank, break it down, show you what you need to do or where you need to move coral or how to improve your tank, um, lighting, shadowing, coral placement, whatever the topic is. So I'm here for you guys, it is Saturday. I know, like, notice a lot of people do appreciate more of the open talk type of the forum type thing. So leave your questions, comments below as always. Thanks for watching and happy reefing. Until next time.